Hey everybody, I'm John Granado, and that's Josh Jordan. You can see our work, well, you can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can see his work at sportsmanhouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here on YouTube. Hey, uh, Josh, Carlos Beltran didn't get in on his first try for the Hall of Fame. Bob Nightingale wrote a column campaigning hard for him. He made the case if you hold it against Beltran, you have to hold it against the Yankees, Red Sox, and Verlander for being on the 2017 team. Are you surprised to hear a national writer not distinguish between the Astros sign-stealing and the Yankees Red Sox sign stealing? Absolutely. This is what we've been waiting for for so long, just to be, you know, fair handed with it. That they started this stuff, and, you know, and Beltron brought it over here. So you have to talk about the Yankees. You have to talk about the Red Sox. And I mean, it's silly to think the other narrative, oh, you got to stop them from doing it. Why, you know, where were the Astros stopping them from doing it? Well, who was on the Red Sox stopping them from doing it? Who was on the Yankees stopping them from doing it? Who was telling Mark McGuire to stop taking steroids? Yeah, it's nice to actually have a national guy have a fair, even handed approach to what happened with the Astros. Over time, I think. I think this will benefit the Astros. Well, I think he might be off a little bit here. I don't think people really relate Carlos Beltran to the sign stealing deal, and yet he was the instigator for all of it. If you want to know, if it wasn't for Carlos Beltran coming over and telling what the Yankees were doing, the Astros wouldn't have done anything. I think he is the most complicit of all of them, and that's why he got suspended for that year. But I don't think people realize that. I think they just put this on El Tuve. Carlos Beltran went back to the Yankees. Oh, everything is fine and good, and 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 all good. And Yankee fans are just like, whatever. That's great. You know that that sucks actually. And I wish that. I, if you want to know the truth, I'm glad that Carlos Beltran is finally hearing it here in his Hall of Fame candidacy because I'm going to tell you this, Jose Altuve is certainly going to hear it, isn't he? Oh, he absolutely will. And I've heard ridiculous stuff like Altuve is more at fault than Carlos Beltran, you know, because he didn't stop. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This wouldn't even have happened if it wasn't for Carlos Beltran. This is crazy. But I just think I think it is like the steroids a little bit to where everybody was so upset about Mark McGuire early on and Sammy Sosa. And then when everybody realized it was way more pervasive than they realized, now people are realizing this sign stealing yeah. stuff was way more pervasive. A lot of people were doing it i think over time this will benefit the astros yeah he makes that case in the article that there was it's been going on forever in using technology as well now he also makes a distinction the distinction that sign stealing was not on the same level of cheating as steroids was i think that's a tough sell i wholeheartedly agree. Doug Glanville came out with a wonderful piece right after the Astros deal saying steroids were way worse, and yet nobody listened to him. It was just all noise for everybody because they just think that the worst thing in the history of baseball has been the Houston Astros, and that's a load of garbage. Oh, I mean, it is. I mean... What are we talking about here, really? It, it, this is ridiculous. You know, it's funny, you know, back to Beltron and Altuve. I did a podcast with uh, Brandon Strange and Charlie Palillo this week, and Charlie said if, if Carlos Beltron ends up getting in, then Altuve is a lock to get in if the numbers are there at the end of his career. Are you buying that? Uh, I just, I don't think, okay, listen, Carlos Beltran did not get in this time, not because of the sign stealing. Carlos Beltran didn't get in because Carlos Beltran's numbers aren't there yet. Aren't, aren't there, if you want to know the truth. Carlos Beltran was a really, really great, a good player, very good player. I, I don't believe Scott Rowan was a Hall of Famer, and I don't think Carlos Beltran is a Hall of Famer. Altuve is a Hall of Famer. Altuve has got to be in the Hall of Fame, and if he does it because of the self-righteous baseball writers, holier-than-thou, uh, hypocritical baseball writers, then I'm done with the game. I'm done with all of you people because Jose Altuve is a Hall of Famer. Beltran, borderline if you want to know the truth as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and I have to ask this. I think it's fair. If Would Nightingale be defending a lot of this Astro stuff if it didn't involve a, a New York guy getting into the Hall of Fame? You know what I mean? Is is he pushing this narrative a little more because he's, he's trying to get a New York guy in there? Yeah, could be. I mean, we know what, what they think about, you know, New York and – and, 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 you know, how the league has protected the Yankees from all of this, including the envelope that wasn't open forever because, of, because it's New York Yankees. I, I could certainly see that. But I, I like that at least, at least he's bringing this up about the sign stealing. And we've seen New York writers actually trying to get people, the Yankee fans, off the ledge with Jose Altuve. I think it's going to it's starting to turn around, and I think it will. By the time Altuve is eligible, I think the whole thing is going to be turned around, hopefully, anyway. 